So the class is an introduction to engineering design. Each of the teams is working on a client-based project. So there's an individual or a group in the community, such as the Houston Zoo or NASA, that have a particular problem that they need solved. What's the significance of today? So I was on a team called Sanitation Station to create a hand washing station for use in rural Malawi. Today was our final prototype evaluation. We present the final prototype that we've created to our professors. We show kind of how it works, all the different materials we've used. I love that it gives me the chance to, like it sounds so cliche, but to like think like an engineer. Can you talk a little bit more about how the drain, did you all end up making modifications to the drain? Yeah, this is the bottom of the pen that has the rubber stopper attached to it. And this is a three quarters hose clamp. It's stainless steel so that it won't rust. Okay. And we have it tightened to a point where the pin can only lift a very small amount so that oh, when the so rubber nice stopper polish. opens, only a small amount of water comes through. Got it. We were assigned to make an enrichment yeah. device for the anteaters at the Houston Zoo. They want to have something that makes the anteaters more active. The zookeeper will put a certain amount of food in and then can rotate the device in order to fill up the other tubes. After that, when the device is given to the anteater, the anteater can manipulate it by turning it or climbing on top of it in order to find which of the tubes have food and to eat out of it in that manner. And everything is clear so that the zoo visitors are able to see the anteaters actually sticking their tongues down the tubes. Like the one that we tested it on used it even longer than we anticipated. Well, good morning, we are Team NotBot. Um, our project design objective was to create a wearable robotic suit that will be used in place of an actual humanoid robot for use in human-robot interactions. The major success that we've kind of evaluated um, is that we were able to build a suit that fully conceals the upper body um, and hides the fact that it's actually a human. What's next for your prototype? So we're hoping next semester that we'll be able to build the lower half and have a complete full body suit to give to NASA, which would be really cool. <laughs> what would you say is your biggest takeaway from this whole semester? How important it is to care about the work you're doing. Like there was a day we were in here from 10.30 a.m. to 11 p.m. The time just kind of slips by because you're really engaged and like you're actively creating this. Like this wouldn't exist without you. So it's just been a fantastic opportunity to see this engineering actually in action and say like, oh, this is work that I mesh well with, like I can do this for the rest of my life.